Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel for our part three of the Ascent playthrough here. Uh, we just finished up another, I think I think we're like halfway through the third mission now. Uh, we just got the ability to start using the taxis to start traveling around the map so we can get places a little bit quicker, which is great considering we are very far away from our next location. I still do have this weird audio bug where you start hearing all this whooshing and stuff, but I don't know how to get rid of it. I've tried restarting the game and everything, but it's not a big deal because usually when we walk away from like where where it starts and it just goes away naturally uh but anyways if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to the channel we'll be doing a full playthrough of this game and many more games in the future just like we have in the past so far and make sure you leave a like and a comment on the video let me know your thoughts um i'm, I'm kind of enjoying the game while also it's like you know it's like it's not the most exciting thing in a lot of ways just yet the story isn't very gripping uh, but I do enjoy the music and the visuals a lot. So it, it's not like a, it's not a terrible experience by any means. Just wish the story had a little bit more of a, a hook to it. So maybe that'll happen at some point here in the near future. That said, let's get started. Let's figure this out. Uh, where do we need to go for this mission? Reach Arcology High Street tier. This is the first time I go, go this high in the Arcology. Should I wear the leopard print my mother, my mother gave me? Okay, uh, the recommended level is six. I believe we're seven, so we're good there. I have some skill points to spend. Let's go ahead and put it all into critical hit rate. Why not? Um, and then this. Arcology the Warrens, I guess. Just because it says Arcology and that's where it says to go in general. It's got to reach a higher tier. Like th this stuff right here is just like really cool visual. It's like very, so cyberpunky and I love it. It's really, really well done. Neat little uh, loading screen aesthetic. Okay. And now we're only 241 meters away. Sweet. Let's get this show on the road. Also, uh, I was putting some thought into it. I think this handgun is going to be great against like bosses, but against basic enemies, it's going to be best to use the, uh, the machine gun here. That's, that's the way it seems so far. It just really seems to benefit the most. Access denied. Okay. Oh, there's a chest over here. Like, look at this. Look at this here. Like, look at, look at the... The background like that's so cool and then you have the music like, it's just really well done i enjoy that a lot and that's what keeps me playing this game uh, i generally do not play games that i don't enjoy just like everyone else in the world so when it comes to uh games that i'm not interested in story-wise i see if there's anything else that would interest me in general and right now it's all about the art for me Oh, look at that. Level up eight. Nice. Use cover here. Like, look, listen to battle music, dude. It's so good. It's so good. The shotgun lay in there. Okay, we leveled up again. So let's see, do we keep pumping up the critical hit rate? Do we just keep pumping that up? We put 11 points into it already. It looks like the max you can put into any one thing is 20. Uh, yeah, we'll do it. What have we got to lose besides maybe dying because we don't have a lot of health? It's fine. It's totally fine. I feel against like larger enemies like this, this hand cannon plays really well. Just because, you know, it specifically because it sets them on fire, gets some uh, damage over time on there, plus it hits really hard, you know? It just seems to make the most sense against enemies like that, where against basic enemies, you just need to spray them down. What do we got here? Some energy. 
Oh no, it's a speed crush team jacket. Okay. Hit him, please. Where are my bullets going? It was right on him and it just didn't do anything to him. It's kind of weird. Oh, well, we're good now. Really got to make use of cover in this game, too. And I, I think the best strategy in general when you're fighting enemies, you just got to fight. You just got to kill the enemies off that have guns first. If you if you do that, generally everything else will be a lot easier. It's the guys with the guns that do the most damage by a long shot. Oh, I am uh, running past my objective. Oops, wrong button. High Street. This is it right here. All dedicated ascenders should report. <laughs> Loading in the models there. And I will note as well, there's like I, I said it a couple times in the last couple videos of this game as well. The game runs pretty great. I'm playing on an Xbox Series X and it's running extremely well. Uh, the, the only time, the only thing I really noticed at all is some of the character models load in a little bit late, like on that elevator, but that's not really a big deal to me. And now we have the rain coming down, just really amping up the cyberpunk vibes. All right, go to the Onyx Void chapter. Hold on. Is this a weapon upgrade spot? Let's pump up the dread a little more, I think. Yeah. Mark four on the dread. I'm not even sure what it caps out at. I don't see anything. Wait, did it not let me do it? Oh, I hit no on accident. Okay. And we have a gun shop here. You know, I'm leveling up the dread like crazy. I'm probably going to end up finding something better later on. Hopefully we get more of the upgrade points. Okay. The glut, the glute. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, yeah, I just kind of let that guy hit me with that, didn't I? With conspiracy theories, I've been a bit too focused on our little project in here. It actually feels quite good to reconnect to the world for a bit. Something else that I keep forgetting as well is uh, my abilities. I just remembered to use my ability there. Oh, yeah, the critical strikes are really starting to shine through. We're just going to continue pumping that up until it's maxed out. We just get some raw damage going. I still feel like the SMG would be best to do with critical strikes just because it's rate of fire. But it seems like the, uh, like this, this weapon is very accurate. Whereas the SMG is just all over the place. What the heck? 
riot shield guy? Whoa, sir. I just picked up some more pants. I try to hack those and nothing ever happens. Need to upgrade my cyber deck. I feel bad as well. There's so many like people caught up in all the fighting. Oh, who the heck do you think you are? Yeah, it doesn't really matter as long as they give me health. That's fine. Whoops, wrong button. All right, he's on fire. That's good enough for me. Oh, wait, he healed? 150 critical hit on that, by the way. There's an enemy back here. A couple enemies back here. What the? Oh. Those guys got mulched. Jeez. Also realizing now as well that chests actually show up on the mini map. Let's hope for the good loot. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. <laughs> Basic component. Okay. Basic. I mean, it's fine because we can upgrade stuff with it. Yeah, these critical hits are really starting to shine now. They happen so often. I'm just going to keep pumping it up until it's maxed out. It just seems to make the most sense to me. The fights are so much shorter because of it. See you later. Wait, can I roll on that? No, I can't. There's a basic component over there. But I have no idea how to get it. I don't know if it really matters, but... Maybe we can access it from this one. Nope. Okay, there's a door there. I see it now. There's a door right there, too. I wonder if it takes me up there. Eh, it doesn't matter. We'll just go. They really make it a point to show off the scenery in the game, too. Smart play. I see a side quest over there, but we're just going to do main quest stuff. See, this is the type of game that you can just kind of load up and walk around in and just really take in the scenery. I actually do that with Cyberpunk 2077. I'll just load the game up and walk through Night City. It's so cool. Don't 
Any new guns here? No. Nothing new. Uh, let me see. This doesn't actually... Looks like SMGs don't have any additional critical hit rate on them. A lot of games will, like faster firing but lower per hit damage weapons usually have a higher critical hit rate, but it shows nothing of the sword on there. So I think we're going to be okay with what we have. I'm sure there's going to be more SMGs and stuff in the future, I would think anyway. speech hole of yours would be much improved by staying closed yeah that's the guy that was wearing the armor and busted open the wall wasn't he so you've lost a few habits how does this concern onyx void exactly careful where you point those digits indent but as it happens you're in luck i know where your precious habits are then i have a proposal do a small job for me and you'll get the information in return one of my operatives is being held by the Rojin. Of course not. He spoiled goods. Flatline both him and the Rojin holding him. No witnesses. Onyx Void always cleans up. The operative is presently being entertained at a Rojin Oyabun's penthouse in the top of the East Gemini Tower. Expect a warm reception. I want my operatives tagged as proof of the termination. Do not fail me. Onyx Void always cleans up. Okay then. Okay, that guy has no loyalty to his friends. Noted. All right, let's go back out here. Now we have to kill the Onyx Void operative. That guy looks like the uh, like he's wearing the same armor as the guy that busted down the wall earlier in the game. Now, I don't know if it's just something that fits that specific character type, that uh, the alien species, but it just, it, it, you know, that's what it looks like. So I don't know if there's a connection there, correlation there at all. Does that guy have a katana? He does, and it hurts. Jeez. Oh, I missed. Tragedy. You're alive? What the heck? Let's solve that real quick. All right, I did take a pretty big hit there, so I gotta be wary of that. My health is not very high right now. A lot of katanas here. You can't have it. <laughs> okay. Oh, what are you doing there, sir? Oh my god, roll. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> I can't get away from him. Couldn't get away from him. Okay, let's try again. All right, we don't need to watch this again. Oof. Do a bit of that. Okay, we're doing better already. Look at this. Oh, he's got a gun and it hurts. All right, I see an enemy over here too. Let's take this guy out. All right, now we got some heals going. All right, show me the big guy. And now he's on fire, doing some damage over time. Yeah, this is like our boss killing weapon right here. It's very effective. EBR Enforcer. That's new. Energy burst rifle. Much higher DPS than what I have going on with the dread right now. It's only Mark 1, too. Jeez. Standard rifle for many interstellar drop infantries and has seen use in numerous illustrious engagements. Corpsec favors it for its energy saving, burst fire function, homing bullets, and next to zero maintenance requirements. Homing bullets? Sign me up, man. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Show me the goods. Advanced component, nice. All right, well, we got that job done. We got a sweet new weapon. Let's go see how effective it is. I kind of feel bad that I used all those uh, components on the dread now. <laughs> when I could have used it on this. Oh, well, I can't imagine the game will short me out on them. I'm sure there are a lot of uh, side quests will come into play there. Homing bullets indeed, huh? Yeah, this thing's all right. Look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. All those bullets that were curving like crazy there. Let me get some heals. So I think this is where side missions will come into play. They'll give me advanced components and whatnot. What is this eye icon over here? Let me check this out. I don't know what this icon means on the map. Cyber vendor, okay. Sweet justice, lethal grenade, frag grenade, shockwave, stasis drone. Yeah, we're not really getting a whole lot of funds for that type of stuff yet. Also, I got some... Some new armor and stuff. Put that on just because of the raw physical resistance that looks pretty good to me tech 
pants. All right. I'm happy we found a nice new energy weapon to use. Maybe I'll put some upgrades into it when I go by the uh, weapon upgrade shop next. You return, and I see you brought the tag. I did not expect you to live. The Malhorst Gel Corporation has your indents. The carrier they're holding them on is scheduled for departure in a few cycles. Check the Cosmodrome. Since MG Corp are in breach, they are no longer enjoying our protection. Okay then. Let me see missions. All right, maybe we have to stay out here for a minute for an up update. There we go. The northwest exit. Okay. Weapons vendor. We need to find the upgrade guy. I think we have uh, enough components to get one level of upgrade. I think he's down below, though. It looks like. All right, yeah, we can't access it this way. Well, I guess we'll find... Uh, I'm sure we'll find one soon. Wants me to go to the northwest exits. Maybe this will be the opportunity to find that uh, upgrade that's right over there. I saw a door down below that maybe we might be able to get up there through. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know for sure. Yep, there it is. Locked ice too? That's unfortunate. All right. Let me look at the map real quick. Oops. Oh my God. The Northwest exit isn't like all the way up here somewhere. not seeing where it wants me to go so what, one thing i will say is like there's certain things about this game that are hard to read and it just it feels kind of bad in a way you know it, it just should be a lot simpler to read this type of stuff and it's just unfortunately not i mean obviously i could just follow this you know this red line all day long but I would like to kind of know more about everything, you know, it's just kind of it's just maybe maybe I'm just overthinking it and it's making it harder to understand for me, but Okay, we just messed that whole place up. Let me look at the map again. It just doesn't show the, the green dot for me. Like that's that's the thing that irritates me. It's like not showing 
like where I'm going here. It says Northwest. I'm just following it. It's whatever. Also, I kind of wish you could carry some healing with you. But that's not as that's not a big deal. It's just how the game works. Drill, I see that. Also, like the mini map glows green when you're in in an area where no fighting will take place. Let's get rid of our bounties here. Yeah, we'll get one thousand out of the deal. It's fine. You wasted a badass customer in sore need of wasting. Great. Here's a U -crest. All right, cool. Thanks, man. What do we got in here? Grafting. Want to get jazzed? Oh, I have skill points. I forgot to use guys. Oh, bounty hunter. That was a late pop, huh? Let me browse. Augmentations. We have the looting thing. We got hydraulic slam. Lock on fire. Empties the remainder of your clip with perfect accuracy. Hyper focus slows down incoming projectiles. Not a whole lot there. Go ahead and spend my skills on critical hit rate. We only uh, basically one more level and we'll have that maxed out. We won't be able to actually spend any more points on it. We'll be capped out at 20. Right now we're 18.35 crit rate. So we're almost at one every five bullets will be a critical hit. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid stuff. Also, those mechs are still super cool. Auto targeting, so cheesy. The reload on this thing is nuts, too. It's just so fast. Ooh, a ramen shop. Oh, let me get that. Thank you. guy hi how you doing hmg 42 dominator all right i just got something else new Ballistic machine gun. Serious fire power into the hands of a single individual. Large magazine capacity and heavy caliber slugs compensate for the reduction in accuracy. The weapon made popular by the Arcology Blues Holodrama series. So just big, big machine gun. Let's try it out. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll leave that on. Let's see what it can do. It hits really hard. Oh, sorry.
It does hit really hard, but I think I like this more just because I miss less with it. Because of the homing bullets. Look at that, those critical hits, man. I'm gonna die. Oh, why are you behind me? No way. Oh, I thought that flying thing was gonna hurt me. Then yeah, we got a bounty. I'm very low health. <laughs> he survived wild radical motoko i just basically had to like cower in fear in the corner over there and just keep firing the uh the energy gun Jeez. all right there's another chest of some kind back here got it A little bathroom, okay. The makers of this game really went all out with just the, the cyberpunk vibes. And you know, it really is the shining light in this game. It's not like the, the gameplay is not bad by any means. It's just like the cyberpunk vibes really make it shine. As someone that's really into sci-fi, it just keeps me playing. The detail in, in the world is just so great. Oh, none of these are enemies. I'm just shooting them. Lab worker chest plate lights. Why are you behind me? It is one thing that's kind of annoying is how enemies just appear behind you. It just doesn't really make sense. I just cleared that entire area and then enemy just pops up behind me and starts hitting me. It's just, it's just a little weird. I don't really like that much. Oh, that missed. Not good. He just spawned right there and I killed him. So it's not a big deal, but. You see, there he is again. Like that, that, I don't like that much. Health at full capacity. Does this heal me? I mean, I know it heals the other guys. I just didn't know if he healed me too. I guess so. All right, we got an item back here. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of there. Smash that guy.
Man, the damage on this thing seems to look really low right now, doesn't it? it? Took forever to kill some of those guys. Fight smarts. Kill the robot with an energy damage type. Okay, so I guess robots are weak to energy. Yeah, that makes sense. That looks like a uh, bounty. So let's do that real quick. Thank you. Just casually running into the bounties. It's fine. Enemies behind me again. This thing, man. Not cool. So the big thing about this is overall it's not insanely high damage but the shining light is just the, the homing rounds which makes sense hm42 dominator again let's try this for a little while and see how it does for us it will do more damage with it die dang too many enemies in this spot there's a bounty right there too we need to go this way did i go over there in the wrong direction this whole time crouching in the open so I can't hit him weird finding a ton of items so that's cool oh no did like the mechs. smasher okay so we just used his energy gun on him and it just basically wrecked him that was really fast we got a skill point out of the deal astro smasher automatic rocket launcher okay yeah i mean how do you say no to that Aside from the terribly long reload, I feel like it's a good fight opener. 
you know you just use it till you're out of ammo and switch to the other gun right let's see that's a, that's a fair assessment yeah make sure there's like no chests or anything back here i don't see anything on the mini map i just want to be sure all right i just don't see how you say no to a full auto missile launcher of uh of sorts you know at the very least it's got 30 rounds in the magazine you just open up a fight with it and then switch to your other weapon when it's empty and then reload it afterward you know i'm glad that we're actually seeing a variety in weaponry that's good this type of game you kind of need a variety in weaponry for the fun Job's done, I guess. Whoa, okay, that that man just I mean full auto rocket launcher, guys. <laughs> you know? Just full auto rocket launcher. <laughs> it just clears them out and it gets it's like a gatling gun too it just fires faster the longer you hold down the trigger Sure, bud. You just kind of open up the fight with this and then switch to the other gun when you're out of ammo to finish off the fight. All right, we did level up here. So let's go ahead and spend the points. Crit rate's maxed out, guys. That's it. That's it. Uh, that can uh, help with reload and weapon swap speed. Spread recovery. Max health would probably be good, you know? Probably. Yeah, it's, let's get a little more health, guys. I feel like uh, it'll help my survival rate out. I'll, I'll pay you. Do you know who I am? 
the lovely line. Do you even know who I am? Well, I will say that I like a full auto rocket launcher. That's pretty fun. accepted my call, we wouldn't have had to drag your ass all the way here. <coughs> Go fuck yourself. Come now. What was Melhurst Geld planning to do with those indents? I don't have anything to say to you. Talk to my superiors. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. You seem to have misunderstood your situation. You see, you're officially listed as deceased in a refueling accident at the docks. I can keep you here till you talk, or flatline from exposure. Whatever you prefer. Leave him here. I'll update you later. All right, then. Mission completes. 20,000 mission XP as well. That's, that's a lot. Heck yeah. All right, let's go to the weapon upgrade shop really quick. I'm just kind of curious. Oh man, it's all the way down there. Ooh. All right, completed that mission. Man, trying to navigate this area though is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little annoying. Okay, here we are. Let's see, we got five of these upgrade points. I feel like we probably shouldn't go too crazy on the heavy weaponry. Really go for more of the, uh, like EBR enforcer. It, I just feel like it makes more sense. Hold on. RPG 23 launcher. I didn't realize we had that. When did we get that? Hmm. Okay. Still no other SMGs either. I was kind of hoping we would find another SMG outside of the uh, heart, the Hab Defender. But we're just going to, we're going to upgrade this a little bit. There we go. Look at that damage. Look at the damage. But okay, guys. Um, That's going to end the video there for this one. I'll be back with another one very soon to continue on this our uh, our playthrough here of the ascent if you haven't already make sure you leave a like on the video and don't be afraid to let me know your thoughts what are you feeling and do you, do you not like my build do you think that i should have probably not spec so much into maybe critical hit damage or maybe more on health so i don't die so much i don't know uh but anyways thank you guys so much for hanging out thank you for subscribing and i will see you on the next one